Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, in this short talk, I will talk about currently uh, recent years in Taiwan, we are adopting open document format in the government. We ask uh, the central government asks everyone to use ODF. And I will give you a short background introduce and uh, then talk about what we need in Kaligur. So the first, let me show some background. Actually, in 2009, in 2009, we have already made it as our national standard. That means since 2009, our government, the official document should use ODF, but without any surprise, nobody cares. Okay, everyone are still using Microsoft Office. Nobody cares about this. But then, in 2014, an incident changed the condition. Do you know what it is? No, the UK government. UK government declared that the whole government used the open document format and a uh, Office suite derived from the office named the GOV office. And so, in the bottom half of 2014, our National Developer Council, that's in our central government, uh, one level one organize, organization in our central government, they started a series of discussion. So that is an up to down power. That is an up to down power to awaken, I call it awaken, because we have, we have already a center there, but we never used that, so now we have the chance. And in early 2015, in one of our county, that's, that's here, that's Taiwan, and Yilan County is here, they started to migrate, not they, at first they call open office, but then I, I suggest them to use liberal office. And they want to migrate the whole liberal office to, to the whole country, uh, whole county government, including the uh, schools, uh, every, everyone. So I got the chance to help them. And uh, f until now, 2017, they are still using liberal office and ODF. They never give up. So I think that is a very big victory for us. And, uh, I present that in the Liberal Office Conference 2015. That's my, my presentation that time. And uh, uh, out of my, uh, out of my, out of my ex expectation, after my presentation in 2015, an uh, amazing chain reaction happened. Some bloggers, they wrote articles to report about my presentation. Yes. And then I, uh, someone, someone wrote me a mail telling me this, and I collected all the articles, and then I happily, happily reported, uh, t tell the re report this to the director, saying that, hey, good news, sir. Now the whole world knows Taiwan is migrating to ODF. I believe that, well, I believe that the officer must have cursed me a lot at that time. I believe that. But it's been already a fact. So he asked most of the local government to submit their proposals to migrate ODF. Okay, that's the background. And during the, these years, actually, we are not only telling people to use LibreOffice. What we told them is the format is very important. We need to compare format to format. Compare ODF and OXML, which is used by Microsoft Office. If we compare the format, the advantage of ODF is very, very clear. But if we compare, for example, Open Office or Liberal Office or even Caligula between Microsoft Office, then everyone will say, hey, you like this, you like that. It is not a good thing. So we focus on 
than it. And uh, in terms of now, we have many tools to use. We have many tools to use. And we need more tools for people to use. For example, of course, LibreOffice, Apache Office, also Google Document can save as ODF. Right? And uh, GlobeOffice suites, just like every work, Genomeric, and Caligua, and sometimes we have web ODF library to make some uh, web, web use. And uh, then I will tell them that don't use Microsoft Office. Why not? Because the ODF file is saved. In, if you open it in the LibreOffice or other Office suite, it will be in the whole mess. Okay? The, uh, the uh, C, CTO in Taiwan, CTO in Microsoft, CTO in Taiwan, admit that they added something in their ODF file. Okay, so I told people not to use Microsoft Office. Not because we are against Microsoft, because Microsoft did not process the ODF file correctly. Okay. And then also we attend the ODF phase to test more. So now we in, into the curriculum. Oh, of course, currently the LibreOffice is the main tools we tell people to use. You know, our, our uh, training course is, uh, is on the LibreOffice too. But I, I would like to tell people that it's not your only choice. Okay. Caligula, actually, I, I translated the K office very many years ago. Uh, and I know, I know the, 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 the change from K office to Caligula and also Krita became independent. And I know, I know all the kinds. So, I, in, in this time, I, I tried Caligula again. Okay. This UI design is really simple. Very simple, very different, but I, I, I won't say it, it hard to use. No, it, it's actually very simple. And the, another one is that currently, as, as far as I test, it can only save as ODF. If you try to save it as DOCX and the DOC, and it will tell you, oh, it's not good, then tell you, oh, we have no filter to, to save that. So actually, there is no way to save as DOC or DOCX. And uh, I think actually it is very good. <laughs> okay? So, or, or users would still like to use DOCX. Okay. But of course, there are something we need in Caligura. That's not. That's not, not here yet. The most important is the CJK support, Chinese, Japanese, Korean. And this CJK support is just like, for example, uh, this is LibreOffice, and uh, in, the, in the character we can see there are Asian, Asian and Western text fonts we can select. But in the Caligula, we have only one. In the Caligula, we have only one. We can only choose one. From the, both, for both Western and Asian, but actually Asian and Western kind are they are very different. We need different ways to process it. Okay. Also, text direction. On, uh, currently now, only Taiwan and Japan have vertical writing. That is supported by LibreOffice, but not in Caligula. Okay. For other p other features, actually the ODF set by Caligula is not quite uh, interoperable. For example, if I open this, this file is generated by LibreOffice and I open it in Caligula, in stage, it's okay. But I made the slides in Caligula and open it with LibreOffice, it will become like this. The, the font size is different, different. It, will, it will change something. So, we still need make it more interoperable, and uh, that can be done in the ODF process. And I hope more people can can join. And the other, for example, the graph features or translation. Yes, uh, I have, it's been a long time. I never <laughs> and not touch the translation again. So that's our responsibility. So finally, I know that Caligula is actually part of the KD project. So it's not about to compare. I totally with that 
But still, I would like to make it another choice for people to use to create documents. And I hope uh, in KDE community, we will have more ISM F concern on it. Okay, thank you.